Okay, now we're going to talk about breast pumping because you might need to do some pumping after you go home. So I want to make sure that you're familiar with the breast pump, how it works, how to set it up, and how to use it. Okay. Um, you have your pump equipment here. I've just taken it out of the box for you, but you can see that there's multiple parts. It can be a little confusing. Yeah, that's yes. a lot of different things. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the breast flange. This is what's going to go on your nipple. Um, most pumps come with a 24 millimeter flange. Uh, around that size is, is standard, but the diameter distance varies and you can buy flanges that have different sizes. Mm -hmm. So it's important to make sure you have the right fit and we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Pumps are going to usually have some sort of a valve mechanism. They might look slightly different in different brands, but they, they all have some sort of a valve to help draw with suction. They're going to have some sort of a collection vise, usually a, a bottle, but some have bags. Um, so that's going to be the main component the flange set up and then that will connect usually through some sort of a tubing to your motor. Hmm. I'm going to let you try to set up the other, oh, okay. the other side. Uh, so let's see if I remember. So this part is, did, what did you say, this is a flange? Call it the flange okay. and that's the part that's going to go right up on your breast. Okay. Um, let's see. I think, I think that one, oh, okay that goes here. Correct. Um, this was the part that does the pressure. Um, yeah, that goes, that fits here. Mm -hmm. Does it matter which way this that goes? That doesn't matter okay. the direction. What okay. that matters is that it's able to form a tight seal. Okay. If this is bent or torn or, or something like that and it doesn't seal properly, it won't, it won't okay. cross suction. And then, uh, let's see, oh, in there. Got it. All right. That wasn't too bad. Let's see. How do I know which? Oh, this has the little piece for, for this. That. Got it. Yep. And then I will plug in the other side. So then we have two sides ready to go. Pumping both sides at the same time is, is more efficient. Yeah, I can't imagine having to do one at a time and feed baby and it takes, sleep. It takes yeah. longer, <laughs> yes. Um, should we go ahead and pump with you now? Yeah, let's try it. So you're going to want to apply the flanges. You ideally want to have your um, nipple centered and this nipple because it's flat is a little difficult to tell and if you can hold it that way that usually works very nicely you have me here to help you I'm going to turn the pump on is it going to hurt uh, it shouldn't hurt and if it does you tell me and we'll slow it down right now this particular pump when I turn it on has very low suction so it really shouldn't be painful yeah, I just, Based I just on feel if you're pull. tolerating it, I would actually go up on the mm -hmm. suction for you. The other thing is, is right now this pump comes on with a fast. Um, there's two. There's two settings on the pumps. There's usually the the cycling or the speed, how fast uh, the the nipples being pulled, how many cycles per minute, mm -hmm. uh, and usually we start at a pretty high cycling frequency. And then after, and that's to induce letdown. That's how babies tend, really tend to eat is really fast until the milk starts coming. Then we would slow down the speed for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see there's a lot of milk coming mm -hmm. out already. And another thing about pumps is you generally do need to be sitting upright and lean forward because otherwise oh, the milk. Back. I haven't sat like this in a while. Yes, you might need okay. to swing your legs over. So that is a challenge. How do I get the pumping. milk to, to go down? Yes. That's a, yeah. That's challenging. So you might want to try to get yourself in a position with a pillow behind your back, comfortable chair, so you're feeling more comfortable. So I just sit like this? Yes, and the other thing you can do is you can use your hands here to do some uh, massaging and encourage more milk flow. We do know that massaging the breasts encourage lets, let, encourages let down and helps. Do I just massage like this? this? Yeah, and if as you get more comfortable with the holding this, the um, flanges, you'll figure out ways to move your hand, mm. move your hand around. It may take, you know, one to two minutes for your letdown to happen, and then you'll have, you know, maybe five minutes of really active flow, and then another five minutes where you're still getting some production. And how do I take them off when I'm done? So you can either just take them off, or if they are drawing a strong suction and you feel uncomfortable, you can turn the pump off first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up a little bit on the suction here as long as it's not hurting you and you can see. Yeah, it's not hurting. Mm -hmm. So what we're noticing here is we're noticing that your nipple's moving freely in and out of the flange. We don't want the flange to be so small that your nipple gets compressed by the flange. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we also don't want it to be so large that it's pulling in a lot of your areola. Mm. Is this is this the correct size? So that looks like a good fit. Um, again, with this nipple being more uh, protuberant and longer, you can see it easily moving in and mm -hmm. out. This nipple being flatter, it is a little more difficult to distinguish where the nipple ends and the areola mm -hmm. starts. But if that's not painful for you, I no, think that that not, looks like a good painful. fit. Um, I want to try taking it off and making sure that I don't lose anything. Do you have any help yeah. hints for that? So we can turn it off and then again leaning forward is a nice way to do it because then all the milk runs down into the bottle. Yeah. I don't want to lose any and of you this. You can scrape it up like that. Cool. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That was just one minute of pumping. Yes. Great. Thank you.